G'day everyone, I've got a short video for you today about an interesting basic program named Donkey. Um, it's been credited as actually the first PC game in general, although I'm not really sure if that's true. Uh, but it's also interesting because it was written by none other than Bill Gates and Neil Konzen, who actually developed it in a closet over a period of about four or five hours um, in the evening. Um, they actually developed it for IBM to showcase what the basic interpreter included with the IBM PC could do. Uh, let's take a quick look and see what it looks like. Um, so here we go, we've got a car and I am driving along the road and a donkey appears. My job is to avoid said donkey. If I don't avoid the donkey, well, it hits me right in the face and I go boom. But I actually made it to the end this time. Uh, I know you progressively move up the screen to make it slightly difficult to give you less reaction time. Um, so it's, it, it does get more difficult over time. Oh, there we go, right in the face. Oh, and again. Okay. <laughs> the donkey is uh, supposedly winning when it hits you, which I find amusing. Uh, I wouldn't have thought that would have been a winning condition for the donkey at all. Uh, in fact, I thought uh, the donkey would win at the same time you do when you don't hit it. Anyhow, uh, this game came out on the um, IBM PC's um, sample disk, uh, showing people what the basic interpreter could do, along with a few other programs. Now, when the IBM PC first came out, it was bought by Steve Jobs for Apple engineers to take a look at and examine. And they found this game and they uh, remarked about how embarrassing they thought it was. I don't know that that's really a fair assessment because it's not really meant to be a commercial game. And it does actually really do a good job of showing off what the GW Basic Interpreter can do, um, at least with CGA graphics anyway. And at the time, CGA graphics was basically all there was. So I, I think it's probably actually a bit unfair to say that it's a horrible game and, or a horrible demonstration of what the interpreter can do. Uh, if you look at many early IBM games or that were a contemporary of this, um, many of them didn't have graphics at all or even sound that was half as good. So I, I think that yeah, this, it's it's actually a half-decent game, and you can have a bit of fun playing it. And uh, it is fun when you go boom like that. Oh, there we go, right in the face. <laughs> um, anyhow, uh, I, I think this program's fairly interesting. Uh, it's pretty easy to find, although it's probably harder to find the interpreter to run it on. Uh, and I think there's an iOS version of it if you've got a mobile device that you can play it on. Uh, hopefully next time we'll get a more substantial basic game to play with because um, this didn't really take all that long. Um, so we'll catch you next time.